yeah, it's, it's great to get back together again and, you know, have some international football. You know, our first games for the year. So, yeah, it's a really exciting squad. You know, we've obviously brought back a lot of players that we've been working with over the year and it brought some new faces back into the into the fold. So, and obviously bringing in Lucas for the first time is, is great for him and great for us to, you know, have players coming in underneath, you know, our, our already established squad. Well, it's exciting. Last year, we had a lot of games against really good opposition and, and we built performances over the year. Um, this year, you know, again, again, these are really big challenges. So we'll be looking to build on performances and we want to start building towards results. You know, these are, these are games that potentially, you know, the, the rankings of these teams are potentially what you could face at a World Cup. So these are the games that we now need to perform in and we now need to start getting results in, in these type of opposition. Being a Liverpool supporter, you know, he's, he's a top player in the world, you know, so... Whilst it would have been really exciting to test ourselves against somebody like Mo, you know, it's, um, you know, he, he's a player that could hurt teams, you know, he hurts teams in the Premier League. So, you know, that obviously is a, a loss for Egypt, but, you know, they've got a really strong squad. You know, they're, they're highly ranked. They've, you know, over the course of the few last few years, have put on some good performances and, and have built good uh, players within squads. You know, they've got a lot of domestic based players so there's like a lot of cohesiveness in, in their squad so but yeah you lose somebody like Mo Salah that's, um, that's a blow for them um, but yeah yeah, it's important but if I'm honest we didn't really select the squad based on using players for the Olympics or you know all the players that have been selected you know over the last few tours you know our young players are, are there on merit you know we're not looking ahead to you know or we get these players in because of the Olympics whilst it is good for us to have so many in the squad you know with the eight plus the three over age yeah we could have 11 players that could go to the Olympics so that's great but it's it's a bit inadvertent you know all the players selected are, are in on merit and deserve to be there for the next for the next camp yeah good it's uh, like I say over the last year we've been building building performances building the style of play building the culture they're a really good group they are exciting and I think you've, you've started to see throughout the year moments in every game where it comes together and we look like a good team and then you know in the last game Ireland it started to come together the second half and we were able to sustain performance for a little bit longer um, it, it, we're a good team we're going to be a very good team you know as the as the boys get a little bit older and get a bit more experience you know we're, we're tracking quite well um, still building but we know that end of the year is, is key for the World Cup qualifiers that's the ultimate target is all building towards the World Cup. You know, we know um, we want to perform in these next couple of games and we want to try and get results, but we actually know come the end of the year, it's, it's the sharp end and we need to be performing and getting results there.